let me take you back for a minute. Um, this was shortly after I got out of high school. Me and one of my boys, we was at Walmart. And while we were at Walmart, uh, we saw a girl that I had went to school with. So I said, hi, Toye. Hey, how you doing? That was it. Uh, and when we were leaving, we were in the parking lot. Me and my boy was in the parking lot going to my car. And then she was going to her car. And he was like, hey, who was that? I was like, that's the girl I went to school with. And he's like, man, she's pretty. I said, yeah, she is. And he's like, why, why you don't try to talk to her? Try to get a number or something. And I was like, nah, I, no. Nah. He's like, come on, man. Like, you see how pretty she is. Why don't you just try to try to talk to her? And I was like, you know what? All right, I'm going to do it. So I mustered up my courage, walked over to her. And I was like, hey, what's up? Uh, how you doing? I, I just I wanted to get your number so we could possibly get to know each other a little better. And she said, no, nah, no thanks. And I was like, oh, because it, it caught me off guard. And then a, a cringe moment happened right after that. And I was like, oh, you sure? And she was like, yeah, no, it's OK. And I was like struck with just awkwardness and like, whoa, I, I didn't know what to do because I wasn't familiar with handling rejection. But somebody who has been accustomed to handling rejection, especially this off season, a lot better than I did back then has been the Baltimore Ravens. Now, shout out to Hoodie Ramey. Y'all know Hoodie Ramey if you're on Twitter. Um, he had tweeted, because the report came out uh, last night from Jordan Schultz, that amongst several teams, the Cowboys, the Colts, the Saints, the Broncos, the Eagles, the Steelers, the Ravens are also on that list of teams that are interested in Tyron Matthew. And uh, I guess my guy Hoodie Ramey saw that and he tweeted out, my Tyron Matthew, the Baltimore agenda is coming back to life. You up? And he added the Honey Badger. Um, and in a now deleted tweet, Honey Badger said, no thanks. You see what happened last time. So he publicly turned down the Ravens, but they've been getting publicly turned down a lot this offseason. Um, and it's been pretty uh, embarrassing. But again, Hopefully they know how to deal with rejection a lot better than me. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the thought of still adding a honey badger, even though you have Marcus Williams, even though you have Chuck Clark, straight up, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Now, if they did do it, I, I, again, I don't think that they will. He will be able to easily, easily get higher offers, get better offers, get more offers from other teams besides the Ravens, especially since they already paid Marcus Williams all that money. They still got Chuck Clark under contract, and you know how much the Ravens love double C. Um, so, I, and Calais Campbell, too, I guess they do really love their double Cs. But I just, I don't see it happening. Now, on the flip side, it would be the Ravens, adding something that is a luxury and not even a need. Now, I, I could imagine, like, if the Ravens did add a honey badger, you could think about the possibilities on defense. And we, we're not even going to get into the whole they should be doing this kind of stuff on offense thing because <laughs> we could and you know we could. Ugh, and we're going to try not to, but that point still remains the same. Um, but the Ravens, if they added honey badger on defense that would be sort of uh not even necessarily the rich getting richer but the secondary uh for the ravens right now it is it's wealthy it's not rich yet but it's it's like borderline because if they add another quality corner you could either bring tay tay back you could sign somebody else if they add another quality corner though then i would say they could be rich in the secondary but having him like i i would imagine packages marcus williams at free safety Drop back. Uh, Tyra Matthew, he can even be dropped back uh, at, at strong safety. And then you have Chuck Clark uh, as sort of that, that dime back a roll. Um, and, he, and he's around the box a lot, as we all know. Um, so this would give the – and then you still got Brandon Stevens, who they love, who he could play corner and he could play safety. You could do different things with him. And then, of course, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters. Um, and that question mark of a defensive line. We don't know who's going to be there yet, so that's still to be determined. But as far as the secondary, they could do some things with a honey badger. They, they, they really could, and it would be, it could be a beautiful thing. But it's just not one of those things that's going to go down. It's not one of those things that's going to end up happening. 
And um, I mean, never say never. Anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. But uh, and and I've seen plenty of Ravens. I remember as soon as that report came out last night, so many Ravens fans. I'm not getting my hopes up. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna go down. Haven't we been through this before? I'm not gonna even be interested. I ain't gonna sweat this. So Ravens fans are over it. They're over it because Ravens fans are so tired of being burned. Recently, there's been a lot of rumors about one DK Metcalf. Um, and I know a lot of Ravens fans, they they not even trying to invest their minds, their energies into that. Now, it would be great. I would love it. <laughs> oh, I, I would really love that. But, I mean, it, we'll see. We'll see. Because there's some, <laughs> it was kind of funny. I saw, um, I forgot who it was. But in, in, reply, in response to the uh, Bobby Wagner video um, or the Bobby Wagner situation, I had tweeted out, so what's next? What's next? Um, and somebody was like, well, we, we keep hearing that EDC, he, got, he probably got a trick up his sleeve. Uh, but somebody replied to that and said, I don't even think the Ravens are even wearing sleeves. <laughs> so watch. <laughs> People are over it, man. They, they are tired of being hurt. And as far as Tyron Matthew, um, he, flirt, he flirted with the Ravens fans a lot on social media uh, on the way to free agency. Uh, we saw a lot of um, sort of reports and, thing, and, and betting odds that he would land with the Ravens and we kept seeing his picture in, in, in the jersey, and, and man, my guy Q, oh, my guy Q, who's a Browns fan, he said that um, he always makes fun of the Ravens when they don't land a free agent. Uh, and, and he said, man, Ravens fans must have the most pictures of players in those Photoshop jerseys than any other fan base. Because, you, you know, Ravens fans, we, like, we come through like, y'all be quick with them uh, Photoshop images, man, with them play like Honey Badger in the Ravens jersey. Now there's one of Jadavian Clowney in the Ravens jersey. Of course, there was Bobby Wagner in the Ravens jersey. And then there was the, the, the best jersey swap ever uh, was Darius Smith in the Ravens jersey. That, that one looked the most realistic to me. Um, but he'd be getting on us because it's true. It's true. You know, Ravens fans, we get hyped. We, we get hyped at the thought of things. And then you get the right person. Sometimes his head's too chill. He'll edit something. Um, sometimes it'll be uh, EDC Burner. He'll edit something. It's a lot of different guys that, that are fire with those edits. And then, of course, he got Simply. He'll, he'll make the, the, the hype video of a possibility. And we're thinking like, ooh. You know, Simply add all the effects and the music and the timing of the effects with the music. And that boy is something, man. Shout out to Simply AS10, man, because that dude is the best at what he does. The best. I would really wish the Ravens, I, I know the Ravens see it, because you know all the Ravens players, they see it. And a lot of NFL players, they see his work too. I, I really wish that they would reach out to him and hire him. Because he, he brings so much life to these edits. He is so creative with these edits. This man puts in cra a crazy amount of work and it's not even like it's quantity over quality no all his stuff is high quality he does not put out no garbage he does not just put out anything this man is on fire all the time all the time like y'all see he just put out the, the lamar jackson nwo video the other day and lamar jackson caught wind of it he said you snapped he said he snapped now, I was hoping that simply when he said he was going to do the NWO, I was hoping he was going to do the Hollywood Hogan thing because that, that was my favorite. That's one of my favorite theme songs from back when I watched wrestling. But anyway, that's beside the point. Shout out to Simply, though. Um, but yeah, Ravens, uh, we'll see what's next. Uh, I've said it a couple of times before. Um, I'm, 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 I'm worried for the Ravens that uh, I'm worried that whatever their next move is, because I believe the last move that they made was re-signing Patrick Ricard. Um, but I'm, I'm worried for them that whatever the next move that they make uh, is going to be very underwhelming to people. Unless they make like some big trade, of course, a big trade for a receiver or what. But I'm, I'm, I'm worried that the next move, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, okay, well, all right. But... We'll see what happens, man. Ravens fans, I love y'all. Um, even if you're not a Ravens fan, I love you. Um, thank you for always keeping it interesting uh, and keeping it fun. Because um, 
again, Ravens fans do not allow the offseason to ever be born. Ever. They oh yeah, and it's now it's, it's April already. Wow. May I mean March is over. Wow, March thirty one days in a month, but it flew by like like that, man. I, that month flew by. Um, but anyway, today keep your eyes uh open. Um extra close. Please be for any jokes, because again, today is April 1st. A lot of people like playing jokes. A lot of people like spreading false information and whatnot. And like, I mean, David Njoku tried to do a joke today. He said, oh, I, I, I talked to my agent um, and I'm I'm requesting to be traded from the Browns or something. Like, nobody believes you, man. No, Nobody believes that at all. And then five minutes later, he said, oh, it was a joke. Uh, yeah, we knew it was a joke. But anyway. Um, just be on the lookout for stuff because today pay extra careful attention to anything you read, uh, any tweets you see, any reports that you see. Keep close, pay close attention to all of that stuff. I know there was one Ravens account on Instagram that was like, oh, the Ravens fired Greg Roman. And there were actually people that believed that. Like, really? Come on now. I know y'all a lot smarter than that, man. Come on now. So anyway, team keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, and just like Honey Badger is when it comes to him being interested in the Ravens, that boy said, I am out. <laughs>